bolder than ever. And with all the power that it needs, the Nitro 17 from Acer is nothing like the Nitro 5s of old. While the new Lada on the back might suggest that it's only half a predator, we are here to say otherwise. I'll tell you why. While still carrying the torch of being made of plastic, the durability would instantly make you think that it was made of metal, as the laptop's base is very tough. The lid, on the other hand, shows some flex. Predators and Nitro laptops look more and more alike, and the Nitro 17 comes with chamfered edges and a protracted backside, which is better for comfort and cooling. On the base, there's a long air vent for cooling, as well as a button to switch between the power modes of the laptop. The keyboard is full-sized and has large keycaps, including a dedicated Nitro Sense button. It gets a four-zone RGB backlight, long key travel, and clicky feedback, all the ingredients for a great keyboard. The touchpad has a decent size, however, the tracking is a bit off. Nowadays, almost every laptop has ports on the back, and the Nitro 17 is similar. Starting on the left, we have a LAN port, one USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, micro SD card slot, and an audio jack. On the back, there are two Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI 2.1 port, and a power plug. Lastly, on the right, there are two more USB Type-A ports. The 17.3-inch QHD IPS display has a 165Hz refresh rate, as well as a peak brightness of 348 nits, so the panel is crispy, smooth, and bright. It also fully covers the sRGB and DCI-P3 gamuts, so colors are rich and vivid. Thanks to our design and gaming profile, they also get very accurate, with a delta E value of 1.0. Keep in mind that everything below 2 is considered accurate, so if you're a designer or work with colors in another way, the Nitro 17 is ready for it. We'll have our display profiles linked down below, while you can also check them out in the pop-up card right here. The speakers on the Nitro 17 are decent, however. There are deviations across the entire frequency range. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The Nitro 17 is one of the better performing laptops that we've seen, offering the Core i5-13-500HX and Core i7-13-700HX. We tested the i7, which crushes competitors like the Strix G16 from Asus and Legion Pro 5i. In terms of graphics, you can pick between the RTX 4050 or RTX 4060, both peaking at 140 watts. The 4060 here does just as well as any other RTX 4060 in benchmarks, so performance is definitely on point. As for games, we can't go without playing some Cyberpunk 2077, mm. which runs at 88 so FPS on the cool ultra settings. Breeze. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Rayfield's mine. What? What are you doing? Get you got us? You're off your weapons. Another RPG, this time in the fantasy genre, Witcher 3 hasn't aged a day. Especially after the next gen update, running at 75 FPS on the Ultra Plus preset. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Racing games are classics, and Need for Speed Heat runs at 122 FPS on ultra settings. Well, maintenance is part of this package. Do you have any engine trouble? You hear any odd noises? I'll take care of it. Thanks. Uh, you know where I'll be. Peace. <laughs> Action adventure awaits in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, delivering a smooth 106 FPS on ultra settings. Drop into the Apex games with ease, as Apex Legends soars at an impressive 207 FPS on max settings. 
We should land there. Looks like fun. Looks fun over there. Ah, forget I said anything. Yeah, let's not go over there, all right? Prepare to face the lands between an Elden Ring, where the frame rate holds steady at 91 FPS on extreme settings. to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you... Lastly, embark on a thrilling tomb raiding adventure in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, experiencing silky smooth gameplay at 107 FPS on highest settings. For more gameplay videos of the Nitro 17's RTX 4050 and RTX 4060, check out our Laptop Media Benchmarks channel, which covers most of the popular GPUs. The laptop has five heat pipes total, with two fans and several heat sinks and spreaders. The combo keeps the Core i7-13700HX running at 157 watts for the first 30 seconds while settling at 100 watts for longer periods. The RTX 4060 graphics delivers really high clock speeds of 2610 megahertz while running at 100 watts in long runs. Comfort-wise, the laptop is really cool, with a base temperature of only 34.5 degrees Celsius. In terms of battery life and efficiency, the Nitro 17's 90.6 watt-hour battery pack lasts for 7 hours and 11 minutes of web browsing, or 6 hours and 18 minutes of video playback which is certainly good for a gaming machine with this level of power. While we're checking out the battery, let's focus a bit on the upgradability too. The laptop has two sodium slots stacked over each other for up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. The storage can be upgraded through two M.2 slots that support Gen 4 SSDs. For the full teardown video, you can click the card up top or check the link in the description. The Acer Nitro 17 is ready to take on its bigger Predator siblings, however. The two brands have to work in tandem. The Nitro laptops have had one of the biggest glow-ups that we've seen in recent years. It would be a shame if you didn't at least shortlist it when looking for a new gaming laptop. If you want to see more tests and details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.